let's have example 10 for the vectors a 24i minus 18j plus 27k and b 21i plus 7j minus 32k determine number one the angle between the two vectors a and b and the magnitude of the resultant vector then number three find a cross b so for the angle t then we simply apply that product so a dot b equals a b cosine theta and a dot b is a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z so 24 times so magnitude of a is square root of 24 square plus negative 18 quantity square plus 27 square so a is 3 square root of 181 units so whatever unit is the given uh, vector here so there is no given unit so we will not put the unit then the magnitude of b is square root of 21 square plus 7 square plus negative 32 quantity square is equal to 38.91 units then apply that product and take note that the uh, expansion of a dot b is simply sum of product of corresponding components so 24 times 21 plus negative 18 times 7 plus 27 times negative 32 equals 3 square root of 181 times 38.91 cosine of the angle between them so simplifying the left side it is negative 486 so therefore theta is inverse cosine of negative 486 divided by this product of magnitudes and because this is negative therefore cosine is expected to be more than 90 degrees so theta is 108.0 degrees so that's the answer to the angle between the two vectors the magnitude of the resultant force so a plus b the resultant is simply 24 plus 21, 45i, negative 18 plus 7, negative 11j, 27 plus negative 32, negative 5k. The magnitude of the resultant is square root of 45 square plus quantity negative 11 square plus negative 5 square. So solving for the magnitude of the resultant is equal to 46.59 units. Then finally, a cross b, so we use the components. That's the right verse AXI plus AYJ plus EZK cross BXI plus BYJ plus BZK. So we have AX, remember that I cross I is zero, so we just obtain the cross product of different unit vectors. So we have first AX BYI cross J, then plus AX bz i cross k and plus a y times b x j cross i then zero then a y b z a y b z j cross k that's it and we have a z b x quantity k cross i and finally a z b y k cross j that's the final term so az by k cross j so remember that i cross j is k so this is k i cross k is negative j this is negative j j cross i j cross i is negative k so this is negative k j cross i j, uh, j cross k is i positive i this is k cross i so k cross i is positive j then k cross j k cross j is negative i so that's negative i again this is k this is k this is negative j negative j k cross i uh, positive j other then j cross i is negative k 
Okay. Then negative J. This is negative K. This is I. This is positive J. And this is negative I. So that's it. Then substitute uh, values. So we have 24 times 7 K. AX is 24. BZ is negative 32 times negative J. Then AY is negative 18. BX is 21 times negative K. AY is negative 18. BX is negative. Is AY is negative 18. BZ is negative 32. Then times I. Then AZ. 27 times dx 21 times j plus hz 27 times dy 7 times negative y. So combining like terms, so for i we have positive 18 times 32 because this is positive, this is negative. So 18 times 32 minus 27 times 7 it will give us 387i. For J, uh, this is positive, 24 times 32, positive, and this is also positive, plus 27 times 21, it is 1335, then finally for K, 24 times 7, then this is also positive, plus 18 times 21, it should be 546. So A cross B is 387I plus 1335J plus 546K. So Another way of computing A cross B without, without this expansion form and you have to recall this cross product. So you have to arrange the vectors A, B, then the unit vectors at the last. And just like evaluating the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix from your advanced algebra or from your uh, advanced mathematics so you have components of a components of b i g k and by basket method expansion of minors or by basket method or kramer's rule then you have to copy the elements of the first two columns so you copy this here copy this here remember that the product of the diagonal elements in down to the right is positive and up to the right is negative so if you begin with i you have a y b z i that's positive a y b z i and you find a y b z i here so this is it this term here then minus a z b y a z b y i so negative i a z b y a z b y and negative i so that's correct for j we have a z b x j a z b x j this term here and minus a x b z j or a x b z negative j so which is this one a x b z negative j which is correct then for k we have a x b y k a x b y k then minus or plus a y b x negative k a y b x negative k which is this term here so which checks that the result is the same and the advantage of this is you don't need to imagine or visualize the cross product of the unit vector. So, but if you want to train yourselves, uh, you may use this so that you can recall cross product of unit vector. So, A cross B, therefore, is equal to this is the components of A, components of B, then the components unit vectors we copy the first two columns 
So that is all for today's entry. If you have an I plus one three three five J plus five.